Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this OC artwork. So the first thing I did was I started planning out my sketch. I usually have a reference right in front of me because unlike a lot of artists, I can't visually see things in my head. So I have to have pose ideas or a mood board in front of me to get an idea. So I went for a top-down angle, kind of a uh, melancholy-ish look to the character. I also wanted a lot of, um, how do you say, like flowiness to the dress and hair. I also went for more animalistic characters. Um, I'm a really big fan of like Lupin and like wolf style designs, so I wanted the ears to be very fluffy and a tail that's nice and long. It's always been like one of my favorite design choices. Also in terms of color, I wanted to go with a very striking blue and red color palette which can be very tricky to pull off, but if you get the lighting and the separation of colors just right, it looks really good. As you can see, I'm leading the eye with the composition by adding the white lines to kind of make it flow. In the line art, there's not much to say about it. It's just a lot of uh, correcting and fixing designs and trying to make it look correct. Um, as I do lines, I, I actually really enjoy doing lines. They're very uh, soothing for me, but there's so much to do in this artwork and frankly it was a whole lot of fun to do. Yeah, the hair was pretty tricky. As I was doing the hair, I had to keep, keep correcting things. Man, it was a lot. The dress was also tricky as well. But for the most part, it was pretty simple after uh, I started getting a rhythm for it. I wanted to almost go for like a Toho style design on the character because I love the designs in Toho and the characters are so fun. And let's be honest, Toho artists are insane. But I really wanted to kind of do a callback to those types of designs, especially because I was designing a witch-like character. As I started to do the background, you'll start to notice some things here. I use uh, photo bashing to do the background of the city because it's really hard to draw a city. <laughs> so you can you can kind of cheat some of it. Um, with the windows, it's pretty simple. It just kind of add some reflection in there. When I started the skin, I made a mistake of making the skin a bit too light, but keeping the hair at the color it's supposed to be. I also noticed as I was working that I didn't draw enough of the hair on the side. So I chose a very dark, saturated tone for the skin tone on the shadows because that just looks way better. Also, you'll notice there's a blue haze near where the windows are on the character, and that's to separate the character from the background a bit. It's really important when you're doing separation to make sure you can see the character above all else. As you can see, I'm starting to render the uh, character's hair and ears a bit, and that comes with experience. I, I would explain it, but my style is um, kind of soft and hard to see here. Um, very tricky to explain. Uh, I did some post-processing to make the colors pop and add more blue and used a butterfly brush to kind of make it kind of lead the eye in a crisscross fashion, That's along with the white. The white and the, uh, the white streams were meant to uh, lead the eye back to the face. I also flipped the canvas back. So as you can see here, this is our finished artwork. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, hit the bell if you'd like to see more from me. It helps out a whole lot. See you next time. Bye.